Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft in which we are going to level up. I'm Night Elf Druid here, Blue Deer, with me Pixels23 and we are back once again in Drustvar to complete another part of this storyline progress hopefully guys. And we're in this new area now and we're about to hand in the quest called the Waycrest Daughter and I just uh, double checked on Wowhead. And it is indeed for part of the storyline achievement. This is like the Burden of Proof, I believe it's called. Um, and it's like, I think it's like six or seven quests. So for sure, we're going to complete this storyline chapter, guys. And uh, we're getting nearer to level 117 now. And maybe we'll try and get that done too in this video. And then we'll just have three levels to go, guys. So yes, welcome back once again. I hope you're all doing absolutely great. I'm not doing too badly myself. And uh, as you can see here, Blue Deer is actually in her old transmog gear now, and that's because um, the hood that we were wearing before was kind of annoying me. I didn't really like how it looked, so I went to change that. Um, oh my god, look at that, guys. Blue Deer in a noose. Um, yeah, I went to change that and um, unknowingly changed the entire transmog in one go, so I was like, oh crap. But at least Blue Deer's back once again in her uh, usual garb. Anyway, so can't you see that we're busy here, Druid? I assume you have a reason for interrupting this trial. Okay, so who's on trial? It's not Jaina, right? Oh my god, it better not be Jaina. Uh, so you wish to speak with the accused. I see no reason why not. Be quick about it, though. I will not have our trial delayed. This woman will answer for the fate of our village. Uh, speak with Lucy Waycrest in Hangman's Point, okay? Riders approaching from the woods. There we go. Hail, traveller. I'm here to rescue you. Also, it is Lucille Waycrest that we're rescuing. I order you what to did she do? I can't remember. <laughs> I honestly can't family. remember, guys. I'm sorry Miss about that. Waycrest. So we've got to save Lucille here. Who are we handing into right now? This guy. We must act with haste. Marshal Everett Reed. So Lady Waycrest was asked that you convince me to let her stand trial. I think she underestimates the danger of this situation. This land is dangerous, we should not delay here longer than necessary. Well, just hold on a second, my friend. Uh, the sooner I can return the Lady Waycrest to High Bond Gate, the better, but I, but I will honour her wishes if we can ensure her safety. There are dark things happening in these lands that you don't fully understand. If we must dally, then there are measures that must be taken. First, the wildlife here can serve as eyes to dark powers. Kill them. So kill four watchful ravens and six dark moor prowlers. Okay? And in case of ambush, there is more to worry about in these woods than simple beasts. Our enemy employs constructs of wicker and bone that can rip a man apart. But we killed the wicker man last time around, so surely that was progress, right? Uh, anyway, fortunately for us, these constructs are not very perceptive. Take these traps and set them up throughout the woods behind us. If our enemies do seek to ambush us here, at least they, that will slow their minions down. Okay, so place six traps in the Watcher's Wood, as well as kill some wildlife, right? Fair enough, so let's do this, guys. I'm going to try and save Lucille in the progress. Eh, in the progress, in the process, so yeah. Onwards once again, through just far we go. And I better mention now, guys, I haven't made a video about it, but not a lot of people have actually watched the video. Uh, so I may as well talk about the uh, Halloween special that's going to be coming up. Uh, obviously, that's going to be released on Halloween night. But before that, uh, specifically on the 18th of this month, is when I'm going to be uh, uploading a video uh, asking you guys to basically put forward some spooky questions uh, that I'm going to be answering during the Halloween special. And um, I'm also going to be doing some giveaways too um, of some WoW Game Time or Pets from the Blizzard store, depending on what the winners actually choose. But there will also be um, a few giveaways of in game pets too. I've got a little bit of lag, by the way, guys. Fingers crossed that's not going to continue. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's going to be coming out soon, so do keep an eye out for that. Because uh, there are going to be, like I say, some cool prizes that are up for grabs. And I really am hoping to make it a uh, pretty fun Halloween special this year. I've spent quite a bit of time already making the episode um, before I have done like a kind of run up to Halloween where I've made various uh, videos of like horror games and stuff like that uh, but this year I'm just concentrating solely on the uh, Halloween special itself. Um, so yeah there is going to be 
an opportunity for you guys to uh, get interactive with that, like I say, and ask some spooky questions, and uh, you'll get a shout out, and uh, your question answered in that, so as I said, uh, that will be uploaded on the 18th, guys. Uh, and that will contain all of the inf information that you'll need. And there is kind of like a cool new uh, addition to the YouTube upload process now. They've got these things called like um, premieres, I think. And uh, basically you can set a video to upload or to uh, go live, I guess, at a certain time. And I think it creates its own like special page uh, where people can go and watch collectively. Kind of like if it was a stream or something. Let's get some shoot stars over there. Uh, yeah, and so basically, I can set that to go live on Halloween night, and we can all basically watch it together and uh, chat during the video. So I thought that might be a cool little thing um, that I could do for the Halloween special. We could try out that new feature, guys, and we could all watch it together live on Halloween night. So uh, that could be pretty cool. So that's just a little heads up for you all. Anyway, back to the question, right? I'm just like rambling. We're setting these traps, and. Uh, is that all we need to do? I think we've killed everything we need to kill. Yes, we have. So let's go and hand in. Doo -doo. Our enemy's eyes but hopefully that's most of my rambling out the way, guys. And we can, like, concentrate now oh, on what we're actually doing. Time, let's just hope that these villagers truly mean no harm to the Lady Waycrest. Well, Don't she is, like, stood right next to a noose, so... Trial. I'm not too sure about that, my friend. Let's anyway, witchcraft has next. long lived in the superstitions of the people here, it is only recently that some of these superstitions have become reality. According to tradition, one who is tried for witchcraft is allowed to choose the means by which they are tested from among the requests of their peers. The villagers here no doubt have some strange beliefs of what witches can and cannot do. Speak with them and see what we can do to prove my innocence. So question 5, Fletcher Hollow Villagers in Hangman's Post. Okay, let's do it. Let's speak to these dudes. Um, back in the old days, we would weigh them down and throw them into the river. If they resurfaced, we'd know that they made an unholy pact and they'd get the noose. Okay. Fair enough. I heard a story a while back that there was a witch who lived in the swamp and the way villagers found her out was because the blood flies there wouldn't go near her. They bit everyone else, but wouldn't bite her. Okay. Like fall upon the cover. That's uh, one thing, I guess, if we could get some of those flies. Um, something must be done to stop the curse on our village. Okay, so what's this one? There's a rumour that a witch could never sick up, since their belly is constantly emptied by the dark spirits living within her. This okay. Is cursed. You mind your business, and I'll mind mine. I've heard that a, witch, a witch's flesh is impervious to flame, that's why we hang them when they're found guilty. Even rotten crops we grow. You mind your business. And, and the I'll last one. Mine. Well, my ma always told me that a witch could never cry, no matter how hurt or sad they got. Miss Waycrest didn't cry one bit, even after being told she would be put on trial. She must be a witch. Yeah, she must cup. be. Oh my god, all these brainwashed guys. Drustbar stands firm. Uh, well, those are certainly some interesting beliefs. I think it's safe to rule out the fire and drowning, don't you think? <laughs> Looks like that leaves us with three tests. Yeah. So we've got to do all three of them. Why not just one of them? One would be enough, right? Uh, the first test should be simple enough. While I may not do so often, I'm certainly capable of crying. Though, to be honest, I've never had to cry on cue. Maybe you could help me with that, though. Nearby, there's an onion field that belonged to one of the local farmers. It's abandoned, and most of it is dried up by now. Uh, but you might be able to find one onion ripe enough in there to cause some tears. Okay, so we're going to get an onion. So, I am all too familiar with the blood flies bite. We had them all over the field surrounding Waycrest Manor. Though I'm loath to subject myself to them on purpose, if it will help convince these people, I'm willing to deal with that nuisance. Find a jar and collect as many blood flies as you can. They're common in these parts and shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. And the last one is... Da -da -da, they say a witch can't get sick. We'll prove to them that I can. A venom comes from a sarilus nearby that is used by our healers when a child swallows something they shouldn't. When ingested, it will make you immediately ill, emptying the contents of your stomach. Lovely. Uh, you'll need several of their venom glands to get enough venom for an appropriate dose. 
removing them intact may prove difficult. So that means it's going to be a crappy drop rate, right? Oh well. We shall get there. Okay, so here is the jar to catch the flies. So how many flies do we have to catch? We have to get six. Fair enough. There's like another quest over here. What is that one? Doesn't say. Hmm. We'll head this way anyway. So here are some flies. We've got one. There seems to be more than one there, but... Why can't Blue Deer run? Something happened with my... Uh... Oh, I think this might be... If this is the quest uh, to quill or not to quill, then we don't actually need to pick it up, guys, because that is a bonus quest. So I looked that up on Wowhead. So I will check that, but if it is, then we won't pick it up for now. Right, let's kill this uh, quill bar. Or quill rats, I should say. There, you are dead. And you are skinned. So is this to quill or not to quill? It is. Or quill or be quill. That was near enough, guys. Near enough. So this is the onion. Oh, we need to get the ripe onion, right? So we need to actually find one that's ripe enough. So we'll do that once this quill rat has been slain. Okay, Blue Deer. This is going to be the one. I can feel it. Nope. No, it is not. Nope. Oh my god, this is like fastly becoming annoying. And we're being attacked. Oh, we've got it, guys. We've got it. Juicy onion. Very nice. Very nice. We've got our buff here. We'll get that. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's that quest done. Uh, oh, so these are the Saralisks that we need the uh, glands from. Yeah, it's going to be a crappy drop rate. But there are some more flies here, so at least we can grab some of those, right? Okay, so halfway there on the flies. We should be able to finish that here, actually. Flies, two more of those. Yes, we've got another one. Two of five. We're on a roll now. Oh my god, three of five guys. They're actually dropping a lot faster than I thought they would. So that's good. It's always nice to be pleasantly surprised. That is another drop, so maybe it turns into 100% after a while. Oh, we've completed the flies, so that's good. So I think we just need, uh, yeah, one more gland. Yeah, the like is back. Holy crap. I spoke too soon earlier. Please sort this out, Blizzard, please. And I know for sure that it's not just, uh, you know, my setup, because last time there were just people uh, complaining left, right, and center about it, so. Okay. Just one more, right? Just one more. Come on, Mr. Saralisk. Please. Yes, we got it, guys. We got it. Five of five. And I believe that is all of those quests completed. So let's go back and hand in. It'd be nice to ding uh, 117 today. 117. But, you know, can we beat the lag and get there? Who knows? But we're only uh, just over five bars away now. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Good day to you. What is Good day to you. Okay, so there is your onion. And the flies and the venom glands. There you go. I think we have everything we need to conduct three of the villagers tests let us hope this is enough to convince them i'm sure constable framer is chomping at the bit to proceed with his trial and i would prefer it if you were the one to administer the tests i may not know you well but i trust you farther than constable uh, speak with him when you're ready to begin and do me a favor make this quick now 
On with the execution. Finally, the trial can commence. As is customary, the Lady Waycrest has chosen the tests she will undergo to prove her innocence of the accused crime of witchcraft. She has selected this mainlander to administer the tests. An unusual choice, but as a show of good faith, I will allow it. The first test will be the shedding of tears. Let it be known that Miss Waycrest shed not one tear during this entire process. Is the accused even capable of weeping? Show us that we may pass our judgment. Go ahead, Mainlander. Show them. She's crying? Witches can't do that, can they? Calm down! Calm down! There may still be trickery afoot. We will continue with the trial. The second test will be the stinging of insects. It is well known that even the voracious blood fly will not taste of a witch's vile blood. Release the flies, then watch as they scatter from her bewitched flesh. Don't worry about me. I can handle a few bug bites. Ow! Oh! Oh! That stings! The bugs don't seem to be avoiding her. If anything, they're biting more than usual. Interesting! but hardly conclusive. Let us move on to the final test, the purging of the viscera. It is well known that a witch's power is fueled not by food, but by consuming the souls of her victims. Her insides are an empty husk. Are you prepared to prove otherwise, Miss Waycrest? Oh, I don't feel so. She oh, sick. lovely guys. Is oh, my possible? God. Maybe she's not a witch after all. But what she's clearly witch? not a witch, people. Quiet. I will be the one passing judgment here. I remain unconvinced. Unless she, she is, and she's just like, I don't know, somehow deceiving us. <laughs> and we're just saving a witch, but I'm sure what? that we're not. This is After probably like a really important went, character, and I've just totally Tess forgotten so about no. it. You will only be absolved once we uncover the truth of what happened to our village. Well, she's safe for now, though, right? I'm sorry, Mainlander, but I may have to ask another favor. Uh, that didn't turn out as expected. It appears that my absolution may truly be in your hands. Two, five, four guys. Wow, uh, that is a bigger upgrade, though. I think we'll take that for sure. And there we go, a burden of proof. We completed all of that uh, chapter right there. It's obvious the constable won't be swayed until we discover what happened at Fletcher's Hollow. I know very little myself, only that the village has been overrun by monstrous creatures. I must ask that you travel there in my stead and try to uncover what befell the village. I'm sure Marshal Reed will prevent the constable from harming me while you're away. Do this for me and I will help you as I can. So speak with Evelyn Peer, or Peer, at the Timbered Strand in Drusfar. Okay, time to move on, guys. Time to move on. Okay, we have arrived, and I've just Welcome looked. This is, in fact, the next uh, part of Sorry the quest the mess, chapters, guys. Uh, so I think maybe Unless we'll try and finish this out, one, and then we'll maybe call it a day. Along. And hopefully we'll be pretty near level 117, too, by the end of that. Um, so let's hand this in and see what we've got. So these things seem intent on capturing our people, but we're not quite sure what for. The ones in town might be too tough to reach right now, but we might be able to save some of the woodsmen who work along the strand. Head to the lumber fields just east of here and see if there's anyone still alive out there. We can shelter them here until we can arrange safe passage out of here. Okay, so rally six frightened woodsmen in the timbered strand. You hear that, boys? The mainlander is going to help us take our town back. Yes, yes, I am. An army in that pack of yours. 
oh my god guys, the cheek of it, we're actually helping them out and they're just being really, really sarcastic with us. We've managed to hold this hill, but the wicker creatures have moved in to surround us. We're not going to be able to move into the town if we don't get them off our flanks. This is where you come in, Druid. See if you can clear out some of their numbers in the lumber field. That way, when we move in, we only need to worry about the front. So kill eight curse formed familiars in the timbered strand. Enough chit chat. Okay, and I'm going to take this flight path for your cheek, lady. Okay, so here we go. Here are the familiars. Okay, so here are the frightened woodsmen. There you go, my friend. Look at that dude. These are pretty creepy looking things. I'm not sure I'd want one of these on my hunter, but I did uh, see a pretty cool pet in one of the past videos that I do mean to go back and get on my hunter, but I can't actually remember where it was now, so I'm going to have to go back and watch the episode. Okay, so we're halfway on the familiars already. Oh, we haven't even looted these. You never know, guys, it might have been like here. Epic drop there, and I just ran by it. Do -do. Okay, so that is done. What else do we need now? Is it just these things? There we go, eight of eight guys, all done. So that's both those quests completed. Now we can go back to that sarcastic person and say, well, there you go. I did what I said I'd do. What's your business here? Yeah, I'd take that. Quest completed. Anyway, we've got a small boat docked right across the way there. If we can get these villagers safely on board, they should be able to make it to Fallhaven by river. You're a capable fighter, no doubt. Yeah, see? We've made respect now, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, can I count on you to fend off any attackers while we get them to safety? Yeah, so defend the villagers as they board the boat to the Timbered Strand. Or in the Timbered Strand, I should say, because that's where we currently right are. And they don't want to be getting a boat to the Timbered Strand, because they just go in one big circle and come back here, so... Anyway, yeah, we're like playing like bodyguard right us. now. Protect the civilians! Don't worry guys, we got this. We got this. Holy crap, what have we got now? Should we stun him? Let's stun him. A little bit of lag again. It's okay, he's going down. There, take that. That's the last of the villagers. There, they're safe guys. They're going away to safety. Take care guys. Have a safe trip. Okay, done and done. Make it quick. Okay, what do we take? What do we take? Uh, if you're looking to absolve Miss Waycrest of this mess, you'll need to head into town. Recently, I've seen some oddly dressed women um, among the creatures who seem to be calling the shots. It's likely that they're the key to this whole nightmare, but we can't get into question them. Their minions don't seem to slow you down, though. If you can get to them, you might be able to find some answers for both of us. Be careful, though. They, they likely aren't very friendly, so confront Sister Ashwell, Sister Early, and Sister Mooring in Fletcher's Hollow. All right, then. A word okay, word we'll do. Avoid the mine at all costs. Okay, I shall I avoid the mine. The Should we sh let's prowl, guys, let's prowl. So we've actually got to kill these people, fair enough. This town belongs to the coven, interloper. 
Be silenced. She's taking a beating right now. There we go. She is down. So what is this quest? Let's just get this quest. In case we need it. Uh, test the wicked charm on dormant ravagers in Fletcher's Hollow until you successfully control one. Okay. Yeah, so these guys are just for the bonus objective. So we don't really need to do that. We need to be back this way. Maybe inside here, right? Yeah, Sister Mooring is in here. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. We shall silence you, right? Thank you very much. Die! There we go. So that is two of three slain now. Uh, so we just need one more. The third and final sister. Yes, Sister Ashwell. Hello there. Nice to meet you. And we don't have a silence. Or oh, stun ready right now, but it's okay. She's going down. She is going down. There we go. And we've got another quest item. Uh, return to Evelyn Pear. Okay. I was going to do that anyway. So what is this... Uh, oh, so this uh, Ravager thing is actually a uh, quest that we need to do, I think. So I think we do actually need this quest, guys. So we'll continue to do it, and we've actually done it, I think, now. No? Or have we done it? No, I think we just killed that one. Sorry about that. Ah, we did it! We did it, guys. We got it. Very nice. Now control that thing apparently. So we can hand in. Look, the hand in's right here. And back once again, Evelyn. With up. like three hand ins. Look at this XP going, guys. Very nice. Boom. The Murderous Matron. I know that you've got what you came for, but I need to ask you one more favour. All the favours that we've done in this playthrough. Uh, this town won't be safe until this matron LeVay is taken care of. According to the letter, she must be holed up in that cave. None of our people have been able to enter it, but I know I've seen their constructs go in. This charm you found might be the key. If you can take control of one of these wicker men and send it after her, we might have a shot. So control the dormant ravager to defeat the matron LeVay. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced in the Elderstone mine. Okay. And, if the mine really was their objective, I can only imagine they'd have even more forces in there. My men and I may be able to take care of the remnants out here, but if an even bigger force comes out of that mine, we're not going to stand the chance. While you're hunting down the matron with this wicker contraption, do you think you could, you know, soften them up a bit? So kill 25 minions in the Elderstone mine. No, Holy crap, 25! Oh, so at least we've got this thing, so that might be a little bit better, right? Okay, I guess we'll do this then. So we've got, let me just check. Swipe the forces, slash your claws, and leap to the current location. So where is this mine? This way somewhere. Let's go in. There, take that. Yeah, so they are dying really, really quickly. Okay, so we're making our way through. Do we actually fight the end person like this? Because that'd be pretty cool. Doing a lot more damage than I probably normally would. 
So that is complete already. I already killed 25 of them. So very nice. Just like slashing our way through right now. Oh, here she is. Well, I'm sorry, but I have disrupted your ritual. Impressive. It will take more than that to best a matron of the heart's pain coven. Let's do it, guys. She is going down easy mode right now. There we go. Take that. And we're back. What's your business here? Two more handins. Oh my god, guys, we are so close. Oh, Heart of Azeroth has gained a new level. Look at that. Um, it'll take us a while to clean up the beasts that are left over, but I'm confident we'll be able to take back Fletcher's Hollow, thanks to you, of course. Here, take this letter to the constable. It should be enough to clear Miss Waycrest's name. I'm sorry you had to witness all of this, Mainlander. We are good people, but these are terrible times. So deliver Evelyn Peer's letter to Constable Henry Framer at Hangman's Point. Okay, so hopefully we're going to go and save that poor, poor lady right now. So World of Warcraft officially just crashed, and the launcher crashed, and Firefox just crashed all at the same time, guys. Um, and so I'm worried that the uh, footage that I just shot is all corrupted, but uh, when I reloaded my recording software, it said that the video was broken. Would you like to fix it? And I said yes, and it said complete. So hopefully that footage is okay still. Um, so we are now here at Hangman's Point. Hopefully nothing's going to crash. That was kind of strange. That was really, really strange. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so we're back here, and hopefully we're going to save Lucille. What now? There we go, an airtight alibi completed, and we're so so close now, 99% on the XP. You are free to go with my apologies. There we go. Constable. Shall we, Mainlander? We've saved her, guys, we've saved her. I am in your debt and I will be sure to let my father know. In the meantime, I think we should find out what this Hearts Bane Coven is and what they're doing in our lands. I hope the Marshal will be able to enlighten us. First things first though, care to undo, care to undo these ropes? They're starting to chafe. Uh, sorry about my voice guys, it's officially dying too. Uh, so we need to leave Hangman's Point with Lucia Waycrest. That's better. Now let's... Oh no. It's an ambush! Defend the villagers! Uh -oh. Okay, I am. Um, I'm trying to defend them. This is gonna hurt if they don't get out of the way, right? I don't know how we're not dead. Oh, we dinged, guys. We dinged. Level 117. Not the uh, greatest way I want to do that, but... We should probably, like, stun her or something. Die, damn you, die! We've got so many mobs on us right now. Okay, she's dead anyway. Oh, they've all disappeared, except this guy, Bramble Guard. He's still going. Let me heal up. There we go, he's dead. So there we go, guys, level 117 right now. Congrats, Blue Deer, congrats. We've only a handful left holding Aram's stand. And my father? What is he doing to combat this incursion? They... they have him, my lady. We were working on a way to extract him when we heard word of... this trial. Well then, it looks like we're going to have to take the fight to the coven. I think I know how to do just that. What is your business with House Waycrest? Okay, the situation is much worse than I thought. The Coven has taken House Waycrest. This will not stand. Wait, you mentioned that they were drawing their power from an ancient ruin? I think I might have an idea. Okay. So, that will be an upgrade, guys. Get a staff again. Very nice. And we got a rare upgrade. 276, guys. Check it out. Silverwood Spire. 
Uh, so we need to meet with Lucille Waycrest at High Road Pass in Drusfar. So we shall accept passed. that. I will meet you there after a brief detour. But my lady, it will be safer if... I will not hear it, Marshal. This mainlander will accompany me and ensure I come to no harm. I hope you're right, my lady. Form up, men! We ride! Come, hero. We ride to High Road Pass. Yeah, so I think we're okay to, um... To call it here, guys, and we can, like, go up that way next time around, because that's right over there. Um, yeah, quill or be quilled, we don't need. We don't need to do that quest. So let's head to this bridge, because that should be a semi-safe spot, right? Uh, and we'll call it a day here. So thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft. Sorry about the random crashing of the game. Hopefully that hasn't wrecked a lot of the uh, footage and it's actually included in this video, I hope so. But yes, do keep an eye out, guys. Remember, on the 18th of this month, for all the information that you'll need about the Halloween special and uh, all the goodies that you can win and uh, also all of the info about the Q&A. So yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you're having a great weekend and I'll be back soon with some more World of Warcraft action. So until that time, do have a great day. Behave. And as always, bye for now.